Good evening. Hi, Eric. How are you? Fine. Thanks. <laughs> what happened? Uh, um, it, this has been uh, hard days at work. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. OK. Yeah, I was hard worried. Day. I'm like, hey, what happened to Eric? <laughs> yes, I have to stay, have to stay up late at okay. work to solve so many problems all right okay I but see. but but i am here and <laughs> yes very nice thank you for being here <laughs> it's nice to have you back thanks thanks so how's the nice family to see you again yeah very nice how's your family how's your wife and your son fine they are fine the my wife is in class already yeah Yes, and my kid, he must be playing at some <laughs> somewhere in the house. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> right, that's nice. All right, very good. Yeah, very nice. So we're beginning the third week of five weeks. Okay, so we can say that we are halfway, <laughs> halfway of the course. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I have to um uh, uh, uh ponerme al día yeah you have to get updated, <laughs> get updated. yeah sorry <laughs> yeah it's okay have you worked on the platform eric mm, sorry okay. yeah no okay. no i have to yeah you also yes. get, have to get updated on that <laughs> yes right okay can you can you give me a second? I'm, I need to open up all the other files that I need to uh, share with you guys. All right, but I'm here. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. Anyway, you're still working from home or you're going to the office now? Um, the last week I have to go to the office. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the office all week. Oh, really? Yes. All right. Yeah, that makes it more difficult, right? I mean, because you have to travel. You have to commute. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Hi, Williams. Hi, Williams. Oh. 
No, he's he's talking on the phone, so that's why. <laughs> I wonder where everybody else is. All right, let's see, let's let's begin, Eric, all right? So we're going to, uh, we're still on unit two. This is what I want you guys to work on today. Well, we're gonna work on different things. We're gonna review some of the per conjunctions we have studied before. I think you didn't, you were not with us last week, but last week we studied uh, neither nor, all right? That's the other pair conjunction that we were supposed to um, study. And uh, next week we're supposed to study either or, all right? So we're like going step by step with each of the pair conjunctions. All right, so today this is the idea. Uh, we're gonna talk about this uh, vocabulary, all right? Then I have um, a small or short worksheet that we're working on about a, the pair conjunction review, all right? And then I have a short video that I want you guys to watch. And then uh, we're gonna make sentences uh, according uh, or based on that video with uh, the conjunctions, all right? So that's pretty much what we're doing tonight, all right? So Jennifer is connecting, and so like here, all right? So that's very nice to have you guys, girls in class. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Your audio, Jennifer, is off. Sorry. That's okay. I'm, All right. <laughs> I'm okay. How was your weekend, Jenny? Uh, a little um, tired. Tired? And occupied, yes. Yeah, busy. All right. Okay. Do you work yes. Saturday and Sunday, Jenny? No. Okay. Just in my home. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's a never ending job. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right. Never. Yeah, never stop. All right. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hi, How are you? Hi. How was your weekend? Sorry, How teacher. Was... Don't, don't... You didn't hear me. How was your weekend, Ellie? I'm, I'm fine, teacher. Yeah? I, I rest. That's nice, Ellie. You deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> Many students, <laughs> you need to rest a little bit. All right, very good. Yeah. All right. Nice. Williams, what happened to you on Friday? I had a lot of work. I went to West Region. Oh, my goodness. I came at home at 10 p.m. Are you serious? Oh no, Williams. Yeah, I was wondering, hey, what happened to Williams? Because you never miss classes. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. I understand. Very good. All right. And Henry, what happened to you Friday, Henrito? Teacher, hello. Well, right in, in home, the lesson is very bad. I oh. tried to connect, but no, I you don't. Didn't... Ah, you couldn't. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Friday was here, so I guess probably that affected many places. All right. Okay. Very nice, but nice to have you now in class. Hi, Oscar. Hi. Good evening, Hi. everybody. Good evening. So, how are you today, Oscar? Good evening, Oscar. I'm okay. I was sitting well. I ate uh, three uh, lotus locos. Wow. <laughs> Cool. That, that was my dinner. <laughs> wow, well, enough with three elotes locos. That would be nice. <laughs> All right, your wife made them or you bought them? I did. I, I myself and ah. my, my little daughter. Oh, that's uh -huh. nice. Very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Very good. Okay. Just for fun. Just for of fun. course. Yeah, that's nice <laughs> to change a little bit. All right. Let's yeah. see, what about Jose Luis? Hi, Jose Luis, can you hear us? Hello, teacher, good evening. Hi, how are you today? I am good, teacher. How are you? 
I'm okay. I'm all right. It's Monday. <laughs> all right. So it's good. It's good. You to are the with week. all energy to start the week. <laughs> Yep. All right. Very nice. All right, guys. Very good. So, uh, Eric Mauricio is back. So that's nice. <laughs> it's nice to have him back again. All right. So he can be with us for this week. All right, guys. So we are beginning today the third week. Remember that these um, program, the course lasts five weeks. It's four. I mean, fifty hours is five weeks. Okay. So. On Wednesday, we're going to be halfway, okay? And then you guys are halfway your advanced one, all right? So that's very nice for you. Uh, you have been great with your attendance, all right? So keep it up that way so you, can, you guys can like have the opportunity to, to keep on advancing on your levels, all right? So that's, that's the whole goal with it. So today, guys, it's Monday. Usually Mondays with, with it seems that we do a little grammar on Mondays, all right? So <laughs> that, is, that is what we're going to be working on today, but we're going to mix it, all right? Because uh, I need to finish up. Well, I want to work on the manual right now, on the book, all right? So this is, I was explaining Eric, that's what we're going to be working on today. Uh, I'm going to share the manual with you in case you don't have it, okay? So you can see it, and I want us to work on vocabulary, okay? And also we need, according to the, um, the lesson planning and according to like how everything is scheduled, we need to review the pair conjunctions that we have studied so far, which is not only, but also and, and both and, and, all right, neither nor, all right. So we're going to be working a little bit on that. And then we have, well, I have two videos, but one of them is with no words, all right, video, which I like that one because you need to read and you need to be like, be paying attention to it. The other one, it's the, we, we can hear it, but the guy speaks very slow. So it's like, oh my goodness, all right. <laughs> but it's okay. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide on using the one that has no words, or, I mean, no voice on it, no sound on it. And then you're gonna watch it. Once you watch it, I want you to be taking notes because I'm gonna send you to your groups. And I want you to make <clears throat> sentences according to the video, all right, using the pair conjunctions. All right, now, because this uh, topic is in fashion right now, is in vogue, we're gonna be, ta we're gonna be talking about COVID-19. I mean, the video is gonna talk about COVID-19 and some, um, it's like related to training. I mean, kind of like, what you should do when you get back to work or how we should manage with everything. So for example, uh, you would not only have to wash your hands, but also wear a mask, for example, all right, based on the video, of course. So according, I mean, we're going to make sentences based on the video, all right, using the pair conjunctions. But again, if you don't participate, it's, you know, it's hard for me to like, you know, like make all the talking. So you need to participate, so keep it up, all right? Very good. Elizabeth is with us now, Elizabeth Salguero and Moises Eduardo. Uh, Eli, turn on your camera, Eli, come on, we wanna see you, and Moises also. All right, unless it does, hi, Elizabeth. See, you look beautiful. It's so nice to see you. Very nice, you're always like smiling and everything, so that's very nice. All right, very good. And Moises, your camera doesn't work? It works, but when I turn on the camera, the connection is really, really bad. <laughs> oh, all right. Yes, okay. that's the reason. Okay, Moises, I will believe you, all right? Okay. <laughs> <kidding>. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's okay. okay, Moises, that's fine. All right, okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the manual, and I want to like fill in some of the, uh, the words or the... Uh, uh, but you know what, before that, uh, I don't know, Williams, were you able to work on the platform this weekend? I know, I know, because I was checking your grade, Williams. <laughs> yeah, I had a really, really a lot busy of, weekend. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't have any time. It, all it, right. It's true. No, I believe you, I believe you, but I need you to work on it, all right? <laughs> but uh, this... The last week, it's really busy for, for me. It was really busy for you? All right. But make sure that you work on it, all right? What about Eli? All right. Okay. Me? 
Uh, Eli, Elizabeth Salguero, did you work on the platform, Eli? Uh, today, no, the last, the last week I was working there. Okay, very good. Remember that uh, for Friday, last Friday, you were supposed, oops, you were supposed to complete Tarea 2.8, all right? So that was like, mm -hmm. all, all, to, the, to that point, it was kind of like, it was mandatory, all right? So, but if you were able to advance a little bit, that's okay. But you need to be finished, or you needed to be finished uh, on the weekend until 2.8, okay? So make sure that if you haven't, please uh, work on it, all right? Because it's, uh, remember that it's also part of your training, all right? Very good. Hi, Jesse. Jesse's with us now. Very nice. Jesse, you are up in the sky today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, teacher. How Hi, are you? Jesse. I'm fine. Nice to have you in class, Jesse. Very nice. Okay, so guys, uh, make sure that if you have not finished your tareas or all the point eight, please work on it, all right? Because I really need to make uh, the report on your scores, okay? All right, so this is what I'm going to share with you right now. You know what, we're gonna go back here a little bit, okay? And I want us to work on this. Uh, no, it's this one here. No, it's, yeah, it's this one. All right, remember last class or last week, we were also talking about what kind of instruments or what kind of tools we can use to assess uh, training and everything. So here we have uh, some of the, yeah, some of the questions, all right? It says, um, it, Oscar, do you mind reading where it says, let's start, have you ever? Oscar, are you there? Here we go, here we go. Okay, had you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Mm -hmm. Does uh, management uh, or human resources usually conduct surveys at your workplace to identify your training needs? Can you learn three skills of yours? Improved, of yours? Uh -huh. of your, uh, three skills of yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken? Excellent. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Remember last week we were, we were talking about um, uh, identifying training needs and we were also talking about like making a survey or taking a poll or making an evaluation. All right, so we're going to be working on number one and we're going to be working on number two. All right, and then we're going to be also working on this. All right, and... And that's, we did this one before, and I think, yeah, okay. So that's what we're going to be working first on, and then we're going to be doing the review that I was telling you about, about the pair conjunctions, all right? So what I want you to do, you guys, do you have this with you? Do you have the manual at, the, at last, or no? You don't have it. William has it. I have. Yeah, okay. I, have I had the you manual. Do? Excellent, okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. So let's do something here. So if you have it, you may use it. If you don't have it, you may take a picture, okay? I'm going to send you right now to your groups, all right? And I want you to talk about these questions, the ones that Oscar read. Have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Think about your, the work that you do at your, at your job and think if you were sent to a program or a training that you said okay what am i doing here all right because it's probably from another area does answer the other one does management or are usually conduct surveys at your workplace to identify your training needs all right and can you name three skills of yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken so I really want you to think about it and say, oh yeah, last time I went to a training, I felt I improved on my, I don't know, team, team, work, team skills kind of thing or critical thinking, or I improved on my, I don't know, customer services skills. Think about what kind of skills you learned, all right? So I want you to take a picture of this if you don't have it. If you have it, don't take the picture. When, once you finish talking about these uh, three questions, 
And if, if I'm working with Oscar, I, uh, Oscar asks me first and then I answer and then I ask Oscar, all right? So we both get a chance to ask and to answer. And then I want you guys, don't Google it, <laughs> all right? I want you to come up with your own definition. What is the needs and goals? What is gap skilling, uh, sorry, gap skills analysis? What is survey and what is performance appraisal, all right? So I want you to think about that. So make sure if you don't have the book, then take a picture of this also. So you're gonna be working on two activities right now when, once you're sent to your groups. Answering these questions and then coming up with definitions, all right? Your okay. definitions, not Google definitions, all right? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna send you right. Hi, Andre. And Diana, hello. Nice Hi. to see you, very nice. Nice to have you in class, super. All right, girls, were you able to listen to my instructions or you just got in? Dianita and Andrea? I heard. You I heard? Did. All right. And Diana too? Yes. yes Excellent. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. So I'm going to say, do you have the book with you girls or did you take a picture? I took a took picture. A picture. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Very good. So I'm going to send you right now to your groups so you can work on both activities and I'm, I'm going to be coming in to check on you guys. Okay. that they wanted to pay so we had to visit them <laughs> wow okay and, i and will mm -hmm. yes, i'm fine i'm fine i was watching so so much and in the afternoon soccer oh that's great yes okay. i will try to share the mm -hmm. the, ah, the screen yes okay thank you Okay. Here is. Yes, I can see it. Thank okay, you. I will ask you first. Okay. Have you ever attend a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Mm, in fact, I haven't, because I think that every training program, it is. It is, it's not for you. No, it is for me because ah, maybe okay. it is not addressed for the specific needs of, of my job or my workplace area. But maybe in the future I will need uh, or or I will apply those no those skills or to another place. Uh, yes, in a, in another place because we have. Um, sometimes we have in, in a company that I work mm -hmm. in, we have uh, we a lot of training programs addressed to values, like moral values. Mm -hmm. And we were like, um, well, I don't, I will not, I won't need this. But this is uh, that kind of knowledge is it's like a general, yes, general knowledge. I don't know how to say it, but we. We always need that kind of training. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the second question, does manage or HR usually conduct service at your workplace to identify your training needs? Mm, no, in fact, uh, it doesn't. Because I, 
in, in my company, that would be my job. My job, uh -huh. but I don't do that. I don't <laughs> conduct service. But I, but I think I, I would have to do it because uh, sometimes my my coworkers they um, I I I only like see what kind of training they need. They need and I don't ask them if it, they want to go okay. or, or stop them. Mm -hmm. Now, Diana, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Um, in the case of you, because you are the, the owner of your business and everything, how do, you, how do you decide on the type of trainings they need or you guys need? Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Be uh, I, I, I usually see what kind of programs are available. Okay. And if, I, if, if I can be honest, I prefer that those kind of programs that are for free that are uh, given that are, that are given for the government like conamite or okay or or, mm. or through insafor mm -hmm. so in the offer that i have i choose okay. the one that i think that we can use for the all business. right okay mm -hmm. all right now do your employees uh, ever ask you like oh listen diana is it okay or can you send us to this type of training or they don't they never request anything Mm, yes, in fact, sometimes they are asking me uh, for a specific training mm -hmm. uh, in the in the area of sales. Oh, all right, okay. Because this sometimes this is very difficult, and, and at the same time, it's, it is really important for okay. for, for business mm -hmm. to be selling our products or services. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And excuse me. And do you grant them? I mean, do they go? <coughs> excuse me. Do they go okay. to those? I mean, do you say okay and you send them to those trainings, or you kind of say mm, no, maybe not, or it's okay. You... <coughs> Every time that I have a that I have an offer for mm -hmm. this kind of trainings, I am like glad to send them. Okay, that's really important for me and for the business. Right, and for them also, right? And for them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they have a certificate uh -huh. and they are like proud of it. <laughs> of course, all right, cool, nice. All right, very good. All right, continue, I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> the And the last one, Dianita. Can you name three... Person, they arrive, mm -hmm. arrive to my company, my job. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, they they have to recommend uh, different training in different areas. Uh, yeah. For example, uh, uh, business. They recommend any any training in cabinas. They recommend different training too. Uh, but in your case, is English. Yes. It, it includes this. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Includes, okay. Uh, in my case. But, uh -huh. but they recommend they recommend areas acopladas, different areas that that the complement is is basada in tu puesto de trabajo based on, uh -huh, based on your work and your working ¿Cómo se dice? job place uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah based on your job position job position I'm sorry no it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so and your job position okay uh -huh. Can you, in my case, uh, uh, the human resources never conduct surveys on, to us. They mm -hmm. just talk to, they, they conduct survey, conduct a survey to my boss. And then my uh, boss determine. Determines, yeah. Determine what are my training needs. Mm -hmm. So I have been never asked about my training needs. 
So, Elizabeth, can you name three skills? Oscar, I'm sorry, and do you feel okay that they never ask you? No. Or do, would you like to be asked? Yes, okay? I would like. Oh, okay. I would like because it's, it's but uh, how to say, sometimes uh, you have the desire to, yeah. to learn something mm -hmm. or to, uh, to, to get into some areas. Right. You're not allowed. The company right. is, is really tough on that. Is they are really sharp uh, in that way that if your boss wants, yeah, you you, you will go. You will right. go. Okay. He, he can. You will be uh, promoted if your right. boss is, is how to say if your boss uh, is on favor of that. Right. Actually, uh huh. But it's okay. It's okay. All right, <laughs> Veronica. Veronica is with you guys also. Okay. Hi, Verito. Okay. Uh, Good I don't evening. See her. Yeah, she I just came in. Sorry. I just joined me. Yeah, that's okay. So, Oscar and Ellie, uh, you may ask her the questions too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Veronica, good evening. Okay, continue. Okay, always uh, in the year is twelve evaluation for me. It's for it's the, nice. my body is part of the evaluation. Human resource is uh, the, the guy, but it's no, no pass me directly. It's the human resource part of my boss and the boss part of the evaluation. Wow, it's so beautiful and nice to listen to that. Okay, the number three is, can you name three skills of your impro as a result of training program you have taken? Jesse and Henry, uh, Nubia is also with you, okay? Yes. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. Ah, uh, Nubia. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hi, Nubia. Nubia. What, what do you Hello. think about uh, the you second said. question? <laughs> Hello, Nubia. Hello. Uh, when we need, when we need, um, I don't know how to say préstamos. Loan? How, how? When you need a loan? A loan, mm -hmm. yes. When the person needs a loan or or whatever whatever um eja? complain complain, complain. yes whatever oh, okay. complains because inside the company <coughs> uh, exists around 11 uh, syndicatos syndicals syndicals unions unions oh mm. Unions. Unions. Yes. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven yes. unions. Wow, a lot, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they fight um, for for the for the right. The, uh, yes. How for, many people for, work in your in your um, place, uh, Jenny? Um, around. A thousand? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Many people. Yeah. Yes. What about in your company, yes. Norma? How many people work? Hi, Normita. How, Hi. Many, people, uh, how many people work in your company? More than nine thousand. More than nine thousand. Yes, teacher. Wow. Norma. Uh, hello, Norma. <laughs> hello. <laughs> wow. Andrea, what about? How many people work in your company? We are 80, I think. 80? 80. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Okay. Yes. Yes, in my case, the, the, the human resources department is in Guatemala. Oh, so, really? And all the things is like the, they manage the, the, all the things, but some process. I in El Salvador, I I have to to see it. Oh, all right. Like a 
intern marketing. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Like mm -hmm. communications or something like that. But the, I don't know, how do you say planilla? The payroll? payroll. The payroll, it's, it's on church uh, of the financial department. Right. Okay. Here in El Salvador. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. All right. And we are about in the third point. Okay. And yes. can you name three skills of your of yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken? Yes, skills. In your case? Normal. For my case, I improved the leadership. Mm, very and nice, Anonita. Uh, the another one is a um, management for what to say desempeño performance performance uh -huh. mm -hmm. management performance in another is a process improvement mm -hmm. interesting norma nice yes i i i improved the the skill for organization skills the time organization skills. Mm. We, we, we took a, a training about uh, how to organize, how to, uh, how to measure mm -hmm. the, the importance, the urgent, not urgent, important, right. not important. Um, and we, see, we saw uh, applic apps, okay. apps to, to help to organize. Oh, cool. All so, right. Now, Andrea, your human resource department, you say is in Guatemala, right? Like the manager. The manager right. Yes. All right. So when you guys are like sent to a training, is it from like, is decided from the, the manager that is in Guatemala or from someone that is here with you guys? We uh, decided from the boss uh, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, do they, because uh, I didn't hear your answer. Again, uh, your manager or the human resource department, they conduct surveys at your workplace to identify your training needs or nobody does? In my case, no. All right. In, In my, my case, case, no. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. In your case, Normita, do yes, they conduct yes. surveys? Yeah. Yes, because we have two, two ways. Okay. Wait, uh, the first one is the human resource corporative. Okay. One uh, offices in Bowling Green, United in United States. Okay. In in that um, area, uh, the human resource VP mm -hmm. had uh, three three main department or areas: the shorty, okay, customer compliance, mm -hmm. and development management resources. Right. In, in them, uh, for each country, the company have the human resource uh, manager mm -hmm. and uh, one manager for country. Wow. In all that structure, they have a different uh, levels to right. identify the opportunities. Right, I get it. For the training in the, in the people. And have mm -hmm. one department uh, with the responsibility to plan the budget training for the year. Wow. It is the names in the case of the country is Politec. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that department had one head of department and had a three collaborate uh, with the responsibility to plan mm -hmm. and receive the specific training and then okay. They teach for all the company. All right. Now, Norma, it, it, sorry. In other words, your company, it's like, how do you call it? It's not a national company. No, it's a multinational. Right, it's a multinational. What about in your case, Jenny? Is it national or multinational? Um, it's national. Mm -hmm. right. National, but the 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 managers mm -hmm. the, the united states mm. 
Okay. Yes, they are yeah. the United States because they are uh, Korean people. Oh, okay. Yes. And they are the owners, Jennifer. Sorry? Are they the owners? They the owners. Uh huh. Mm. Or they're different owners. Teacher, I'm sorry. Owners? What's like the meaning? Dueños? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, all right. They uh -huh. the owners, yes. Ah, uh, all right. Um, for example, the general management is uh, is one owner. Okay. Oh. And she works mm. in El Salvador. Okay. But the others, the others uh, uh, staying uh, in United States. Right. Okay. Right. Now, uh, in 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 the case of Andrea, uh, that you said that your answer was no for number two. Would you like someone to ask you the tra your training needs, or you don't mind? Yes, I I I, I think it's it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to have uh, something that take care of the necessities of the the things to improve. Okay. Yes, I think it's it's what's cool. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. So uh, you finished the three questions for all of you girls. The three skills that you have improved on the last trainings that you have gone to. Normita said about leadership and all that, and Andrea also, right? What about Jenny? Did she mention them? Uh, I improved in the uh, just the um, industrial machines mm -hmm. and analyze the patterns. Okay. And improve uh, in English too. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. I I study English today. Mm -hmm. And for example. The same to to Diana, to Diana. Andrea. No. Sorry. <laughs> say to Andrea. Sorry, Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. Oh, okay. I improve in the in the time um, management. Not really. Uh, team. Uh, work. Trabajo en equipo, work. Teamworking. Like teamwork, teamwork. Teamwork, yes. Oh, teamwork. cool, all right, okay. Yes. Very nice, okay, interesting. All right, so girls, what I want you to do now is I want you to keep on working with the definitions, all right? Come up with the definitions, don't Google it, all right? Try to come up with what do you understand from it. If, you, if, if it is not a definition, it's like what do you understand about those terms, okay? Okay. Did you take a picture of that? You have it? Yes, I have it. All right, it. perfect. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Your students about another topic. Yes. Well, yes. Well, it, issue, issue, uh, materia? What issue do you... Socializing. Ah. Social science. And science. Mm -hmm. Ah, science, social and science. Social science. Oh, do you like real? <laughs> I <laughs> love a story. <laughs> ah, <history. laughs> Very good. You like history and then you like the, the software or technology. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm sorry. Did you did you finish <laughs> yes. with the questions? The first questions? This ones? Uh, yes, teacher. All right, very good. Yes. Uh, I just want to hear really quickly what you guys talked about. Let's see. Um, have you, um, um, Eric Mauricio, have you, hey, yeah, the two Eric's are here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eric Mauricio, have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Mm, yes, I, I was telling to to the partners that uh, once uh, they sent me the company that I work for uh, sent okay. me uh, uh, to a uh, training about uh, sales techniques okay 
and I really wasn't on the sales area. So oh my god! <laughs> okay. That's not for me. Related. It yeah. was. It was many years ago. All right. Now, yes. how did you feel about it? Very strange. Very <laughs> strange. Yes. Um, I try. I was trying. Try to uh, look for something that I could apply on my right. On my uh, area. area area yes yeah and it, I participate on the on the, the dynamics but it wasn't my right no all right yeah. very good what about Eric Diaz have you ever been to a training program that did not address the specific needs yes along ten years okay in my, in my last world okay when, when I when I was working in Sirivan. Mm. And I received a training of a, a training the software, new software okay. used in the, in the company. All right. All right. Very good. What about Ellie? Have you ever been to a training program that did not address your needs, your specific needs, Ellie? Um, in my, I, I have a training um, about the customer service. Mm -hmm. I think don don't is it didn't, need, yeah don't necessarily <laughs> but <laughs> you in your area right okay interesting now um Eric Mauricio what about in your um in your job does your manager or the human resource department do they have surveys to identify your training needs Eric not 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 really it's not a a practice on my oh, on the company. Right. Okay. Sometimes they send us some surveys, but not about uh, training needs. All right. Okay. More. Um, yeah. It's more about uh, how we how we feel on the institution. All right. Now, Eric, would you like to have these uh, surveys about your training needs, or you don't mind? I really like, I would really like to, they ask me about mm -hmm. a need that I right. that you would have identified, yes. Okay. <laughs> now, has it ever happened to you, Eric, that you feel that you need, for example, you have heard about a training program and you request it to your boss or to your manager and was not given to you? Uh, yes, once, but not for me. Uh, uh, instead, but for my for my uh, some uh, members oh. of my staff, okay, uh, I I request for a uh, accounting program, okay, uh, that uh, I I find some place I don't remember, right? But, yeah, and they tell me the the bosses tell me that that he will that they will think about it, <laughs> think about it, yes. All right. But but at the end he doesn't. Uh, they doesn't send. They didn't send them. All right. Yes. Okay. And how did that make you feel? Um, the, a little disappointed. Okay, disappointed. Because, because I I was trying to improve the the ability the skills of my right. staff. Right. Yeah. Of course. And that would be a plus uh, for them. Yes. Yes, okay. and, and and I really, I really don't. This I really didn't feel that they listened to me. Right, of course. Okay. What about in your case, Eric Diaz? Um, do they conduct surveys to identify your training needs? Uh, yes, but in my company there is not a, a practice. Uh, uh -huh. They know uh, us and me or uh, all employee what training need the in, in in this area right and when you a uh, specific some course you can right. say you can say uh to boss uh -huh. and and he has a uh, uh recurse humans right human resources okay um is is it is possible you you can participate okay all right undecided, undecided. Mm. all right now um would you like to have a training sir like a survey about your training needs eric 
Mm, or, yes. okay, all right. Yes, the, the plan, uh, the, the, the topic, okay. the issue in my, in my, in my workplace. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right. What about in your case, Eli? At school, do they, uh, do they have surveys about your training needs? Like, do they ask you what, what trainings or what, what uh, things you need? Uh, in my class, I tell him that only my boss, my boss asks you about the uh, needs, but directly human resources don't. Ah, okay. All right. So it's your boss, the one that asks. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, can you guys name three skills that you feel that you have learned, like when you went to uh, the last training, for example? Uh, in my case, I think the um, the manager, the technology, 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 Techno technological, technology, technological, technological resource. Mm -hmm. uh, también uh, the management, the so, um, uh, emotional intelligence. Oh, nice. In my class is a uh, training personal training right mm -hmm. oh that's nice and that's a nice one all right what about you guys eric and eric i think i think it's very important today uh training about the uh, uh technology mm -hmm. and it's very necessary you can I speak another language. All right, okay. And on the third uh, is uh, the intelligent, intelligent mm -hmm. emotional. Mm -hmm. When you, when you, when you have a, a direction in project. All right, okay, very good. Okay, okay. And Eric Mauricio, three skills uh, that you think that you have skills. improved? uh for example uh, leadership yeah um uh, something about uh data analysis okay and and a little bit of empathy uh, with mm. the, the people yes. right okay interesting all right guys you uh, i'm sorry i just wanted to hear you speaking a little bit um go on doing this activity i don't know if you were already like um, giving your own definitions or like sharing your ideas related to these uh, words or concepts. So you may go on and do that right now. And I'll, at seven, at seven, at nine o'clock, we're gonna go back so I can take attendance. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So, do you have the? In the malls or uh, the, uh, the uh, generally in the malls, selling uh, packs. <laughs> no, it is it, it, without that. It's without that person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because this because it's this other area. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, five hundred is yes. Only in the hotel. Yes. Yeah, it is a big hotel. Yes, it's a big one. So I think that there is all about that that question. Yeah. But I want to know about <laughs> the camera. <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Can you repeat me, please? I, I can hear you. I I I didn't visit the the camera. Ah, you have yeah. never visited the camera. I I went when was the Salinitas, but not. Ah, for me, I had I I had never visited when was Salinita. Yeah. It, <laughs> it was a great place. But, 
I have never visited, but the people visited when Guasalinita say that today is the different completely. <laughs> different, yeah. I, I only saw yes. I pass uh, near of near of the Cameron, but when it was Salinitas, it was really quietly place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really good to relax. It was really good to relax. Yes, because uh, the most attractive thing the the people like is the the pool inside the the, the sea. Yeah, yeah. So hi guys. Hi. How are you? Hello, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jose Luis, when are we I going to I the Cameron? <laughs> yeah. I, I was. I was missing that you come to this meeting. Yeah, I'm here. All right, guys, did you, did you talk about the questions at the very beginning? Yeah? No, we are talking yes. about coffee. I talk about the, the, about the healthy life, about... <laughs> Everything else. All right, very good. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, so... Well, uh, you're talking about William is happy if you talk about coffee. I know, William is a coffee lover. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Weekend. Coffee and bread in the, in I know. Happy. happy with everything. All right. So, Williams, can you mention the three skills that you feel that you have learned on the last training program you took or you went to? Yeah, um, about uh, how to take uh, digital photography. Oh, nice. Yeah, and about um to about uh okay oh my god <laughs> development community. development community development yes development mm -hmm. um different uh, skills about how to identify needs needs in the communities okay and how to uh, participate more effectively okay cool yeah all right, interesting. What about you, Jose Luis? Like, mention three skills that you have learned. It's about a quality service mm -hmm. and other ways identify what the customer need when they are frequently. Ah, okay. And how to, yes, and how to hand complaints. Okay, yeah. Very difficult. <laughs> It's not easy, <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, especially because you're dealing with foreigners and yeah, it's complicated. All right, very good. Now, Williams and Jose Luis, what about in your companies? Do they ask you your training needs or they don't ask you about your training needs? In my case, I, I don't ask. They don't ask you? Ask me. Okay. Uh, I am going to find and when I found um, an option. Uh -huh. I... Oh, and do they ever say no to you, Williams? Or they always say, okay, go, Williams? Sometimes uh, they say, no, uh, it is mm -hmm. not possible in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. What about in your case, Jose Luis? Do they ask you about your training needs or not really? In my case, they are uh, a person in charge, okay. and they saw diff the, the different areas, mm -hmm. and he saw what what we need and report the human resource okay. to their request to, for example, in Safor uh -huh, okay. for giving mm. give training. Right. Okay. I get it. All right. Now, do do you have it's, you ever? Yes. Have you ever requested a it's, training? It's, it's the... Have you ever Sorry, request... can you repeat me, please? Yes, yes. Have you ever requested a training, Jose Luis, that you felt you that you needed? Have you ever I, asked... I don't understand very well that you... Yeah. Have you ever requested a training for you? Mm, no. Okay. And this moment, I, I, for me, I don't request, okay. but I, I receive a lot of training because mm -hmm. uh, every three months, yeah. the hotel gives us training. 
cool. Always yeah. within support. That is mm. really good. Right. Nice. Yeah, of course. All right. Cool. Interesting. All right. Uh, Williams and Jose Luis, did you finish the definitions of the little circles? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, because uh, we you were talking away about coffee and bread and hotels. <laughs> 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 that's okay that's okay we're gonna go back right now because i need to take attendance okay so we can discuss about the definitions together all right okay thank you thank you okay then okay then. Hi, Hi guys. Hello, hello. All right, Hi, guys. very good. Uh, I'm going to take attendance right now and then we are going to talk about uh, what you guys were discussing in your groups. Okay, so let's see. Um, get ready, guys. Nancy okay. Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Excellent. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Thank you. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Eh, Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernandez. Oh no, she's not here. All right. Um, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Okay. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez. Hey, what happened to Gerardo? He's not in. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. No. Eh, Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present teacher. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Pero entró Silvia. ¿eh? ¿Alguien estuvo con Silvia? Uh, no. Okay. Verónica Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you. Todo de mí un segundito aquí. Eh, Nubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. Ella sí estuvo con alguien en un grupo. ¿Con, ¿En qué grupo estuvo Nubia? Con nosotros. With me. All right. It just... she, she had bad connection and she live. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. Very nice. So I was going in some of your groups and that's why I was listening to your answers and everything. So that's why it took a while. So you guys practice your speaking. All right. That's the whole point of it. All right. Let's see. I'm going to share with you this and i just want you guys to talk to me about these questions so we can all like listen to your answers all right have you ever attended a training program that did not address your specific needs has that ever happened to you yes or no never in my yeah. case, in yes my case, never never. Because of, never because actually uh -huh. uh, maybe Ten years ago, there there was no training in my company. Oh my it, god! It, it was what, on your own. It oh my own. goodness! All right. And still, is uh, is not enough. Still, now that we have okay. some training, it's not enough, but it's okay. All right. Okay. Very good. What about aha, uh, uh -huh, Henry? Tell me. Tell us. Yes, in my case, yes, the problem is. I think what for my um, from my job. Mm -hmm. I told my partner to uh, 
Wikipedia, um, all the programming is not specific, always in my area, but always heavy for developing very much. All right, okay. Um, Eric Mauricio was telling, when I, I was in, in his group, he was telling us about a, a training that he went to that he felt that he, you know, he had nothing to do with the, his area. So Eric Mauricio, do you mind sharing your experience with your classmates? Yes, okay. Once, uh, so yeah, many years ago, I was sent to a uh, um, training about uh, sales techniques and I wasn't on the sales area and that, that training wasn't for me, right. for my area. Right. Yes, so I tried to participate, but, but, but it wasn't for me. Right. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Verito, have you ever been on a training that it wasn't for your area? Mm. Yes, but in the, uh, in the, for example, sometimes the subject has nothing to do with the, with the content of the training. Mm. Okay. Because sometimes uh, the trainers, they teach only a, uh, superficial topic oh okay i get it all right okay very yeah. good mm -hmm. okay what about the rest of you guys um andre have you ever be, have you ever been to a program a training program that it wasn't for your area or that has never happened to you yes it's happened oh all right and one time i was uh, sent to a training about technical topics mm -hmm. um, about networking okay and was like another another language <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> andrea marketing department right yeah <laughs> and i think that it's important to to know about our products mm -hmm. but uh, in 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 a level like no 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 technical no right. technical level all right uh, no technical it has to be commercial right Okay, interesting. All right. Diana, have you ever been to a training that wasn't on your area? No, I haven't because I think that every knowledge is it is well, ah. well, it is well, well received. <laughs> ah, <very> well received. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting point of view. All right, very yes, good. Because okay. maybe you can think that you can you don't need to, uh, this knowledge in mm -hmm. this time, but maybe you will need it in the in the future in the future but okay. if we if you don't you have been this knowledge all right really okay. Good. <laughs> yeah okay that's a very nice way of seeing them you know usually yes, I'm, kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of nerd <laughs> oh, come on Diana. all right no but you know what i think that's being very positive because usually the normal human beings <laughs> we believe okay what am i doing here this is not for me <laughs> but if you see it from your perspective, everything mm -hmm. should be welcome because, you know, I mean, at the end because of the day, is yes. yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. you're teaching me something new today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Very good. You. All right. What about Norma? Aún viéndolo desde la otra perspectiva, no de Dianitas, Juan. Uh -huh, Norma, have you ever been to a training that you have felt that is not for your area? Uh, in the company? All department training teacher mm -hmm. Be, uh, give a training because in my case my area is industrial engineer. Right. And then my department need to teach every year all mm -hmm. trainers, supervisor, mm -hmm. and um, process engineer in, uh, process engineer members in the specific uh, topic. Okay. The one is the productivity. Mm -hmm. Another is a MTM analysis, is method okay. training method analysis, and another one is a um, uh, the initial is a AMT is okay. analytic method training. Okay. And three training I uh, we working during the year. Mm -hmm. in different months and give an invitation for the new hires 
-hmm. in that uh, areas mm -hmm. and teach for all of them. Okay. All right. In, in every department had a different trainers. And okay. in, our, in our case, I received with Del Carney one training for all my bosses and supervisors mm -hmm. uh, for my, in Spanish is formación de formadores. Okay. That training is to training for trainers. Trainer for trainers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because the the all the people involvement in the process to teach it to others need to make the presentation okay and, uh, uh, clarify in the objective prepare mm -hmm. the material to the trainers okay and, and make a different uh, activities with the people in order to the people make a dynamics okay dynamics related okay. to the topic they we we work in all right okay i understand all right very good okay let's see the other question guys uh it said do you does your company, it said, does your management or HR department, they conduct surveys to see or to identify your needs? Some of you were saying no, and some of you were saying yes. Who wants to share your answers? Nobody, Jesse, come on, Jesse, you can share your answers. <laughs> okay. Um, I talked with uh, Henry, yes. that's in my case. I am in church, teacher in church in my company, and I have to pass three surveys in the year. Oh, each, nice. Yes, each one for each quarter of the year. Okay. Uh, for for with the shy also with a student finish the mm -hmm. first quarter of the year mm. the teacher had to make the first survey okay with the teacher with the student finish the second quarter of the year the mm -hmm. teacher make the second, second one okay. the second one yes and and then the last the, one the last in the finish of the year the mm -hmm. teacher had to make the third survey. That's and right. that survey is helping for us because the teacher can tell who they need okay. in some part. And another part, the teacher is on eyes mm -hmm. to, to the manager can helping for the teacher for improve the knowledge mm -hmm. or for improve the okay the witness areas the weaknesses yes all right I yes mm. and the uh, the other part the teacher to is talking about the the papers planification evaluation the and, okay okay all, right. all the, the planning in the year and he's talking about the helpfulness of the mm -hmm. planet Okay. Or are oh. not necessary, or can change the planet for only with agenda. Okay. And the teacher make uh, making all her. I don't know if making it uh, inside the survey all the needed that they have. Oh, and okay. They, and that's that needed help to the manager for make the those uh, teacher plant. Mm -hmm. La planta va a ser for mm -hmm. the next year. Oh, the my manager goodness. see all the leaders and, and help all the manager for assign the work for the next year for each one. Okay, I get it. All right. Now, um, I was asking some, thank you, Jesse. I was asking some questions to some of you when I went into your groups. Um, do you feel that you would like to be asked which kind of training you would like to receive? Excuse yeah. Excuse me, you can repeat. Yes, repeat. I was. Yes, I was asking Jesse so to some people, like to some of you, that in your companies, would you like to be asked? Like, if someone comes to you and says, "Okay, Williams, what kind of training would you like to receive?" Norma, what kind of training would you like to receive? Uh, Pero, yes. what kind of would you like to feel that they are asking you or you don't care yes the the teacher uh, 
uh, write all the training that they would like to receive ah, inside the year. Okay. But in the year, don't receive all the training because it's a difficult training that the teacher uh, wants want to give. <laughs> want. Ah, wants to get. Okay. Right. Yes, but. Uh, but uh, the rest of the, year, the manager is is give some training for example making groups all okay. the all ah. the teacher have the training and uh, give the training for that group okay in so, some cases but right. in another in another case the training is for all the people okay i get it don't, right. don't matter the area ah okay. for example for example, with our spiritual uh, ah, trainings can right. be a spiritual resource. Yes. All the people have to receive. And when are another kind of training, the people are free. Okay. All right. I that, get uh, it. All right. I understand. Is. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Would you like to be asked a type of training? Teacher, I explained yes. my my co-worker co co uh, classmate. Yes. In the company, we make one evaluate evaluation per year. Okay. And in that evaluation, the the management manager uh, performance uh, one section is a uh, selective topics uh, we like to receive during the during the during the year. Okay. The next year, All and right. then the company make a ranking for the right. total people said in the interview, and make a, a ten top main topics mm -hmm. in the full tech department. Okay. Uh, selected that the trainers. All right. Okay. Interesting. All right. Okay. What about Oscar? Would you like? I asked the. I asked this already to Oscar, but. Would you like to be asked, Oscar, what kind of training you would like to have? Yes, I would. All right. Because uh, because in my company, I'm not asked right. about what I want to uh, to in, learn. In training, <laughs> uh, what I want to learn or right. uh, in training. Okay. Uh, uh, my boss decides. Uh, I was telling to to the teacher that my boss decides right. what kind of training do I need, and also. I want to point out that the the, the company is well organized mm -hmm. on that on the on the trainings and also uh, how to say um, it's a good service. I mean, okay. it's a, a they are well organized. Mm -hmm. It's just that that is not uh, you're not allowed to to ask right. for. Uh -huh. You All are right. there and you and you have to uh, how to say uh you accommodate is like yeah. uh you have to fit right you, you have, have to, to fit, fit in, in. in the structure all right, all right. The structure okay. and actually someone from human resources make an analysis of your mm -hmm. of your profile or your uh skills and they and and they say sometimes uh, with my co-workers we switch from one position to another Last, okay how to say i was in uh, in el salvador and uh -huh. sometimes I, so I spend uh, four years in Milopango and some ah, okay. there are there are many branches. Okay, Not yeah. That, for in my case there are only two branches. Right. But the company has another uh, Okay. And then and then they the uh, based on that analysis uh, uh, based on that analysis mm -hmm. they they move you from from place to place or or they uh, fill the the personal necessity or okay. the skills necessity. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. Interesting. All right. Henry, you had your hand up. When I have a meeting with my reception other, this opening for Say what the what I need, what thing I need. Maybe if it's in the in this meeting, I say I need 
correct in this study because I, I'm not. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, cool. All right, guys, let's see this. I'm going to show you this. You to tell me, well, you have it. I think you took a picture anyway if you don't have it. All right. When we talk about business needs and goals, what are we talking about? Can, can someone explain to me business needs and goals? Guys, what is for you business needs and goals? What did you come up with? Were you able to come up with these definitions? Teacher, uh, I associate that, uh, that topic related oh. to the, the kickoff for the company. Every year the company defines one topic for the kickoff. I explained for my, my partner in this year, we defined a year for the customer satisfaction. Oh, satisfaction. okay. And uh, all the all the people from supervisor to manager mm -hmm. had one meeting together and uh, learn about that and define the the thing we working in each department okay. to reach the, that. A specific topic okay and also every year the company define the primary goals oh the primary goal people. okay all right uh, for example the top manager in the united states define the primary goals the primary goals ah. the primary goals and okay. then my boss in the country define another goals okay to support the goal for the people oh, that all right okay and then in what to say in cascade waterfall in, uh -huh, in waterfall all the department define the different goals to support the another one okay all right so when uh -huh, when the supervisor working for example, one one goal for the total company is the quality. Okay. And the supervisor working in the goal for a reach the quality number for each production unit. Okay. And another department define another goals, another activity to support that goal. Okay. All right. And I understand. That summarizes the all that is force. Mm -hmm. uh, the BP manager. Uh, reach the goal com uh, committed with the CEO. All right. Okay. I and understand. This is the mechanical to follow up. Okay. Very good. And if, thank you, Norma. Very nice. Interesting. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? What is for you by business needs and goals? How did you define it or how did you understand it? Um, I think it's like when you think, um, in a um, established uh, your own company or a okay. little company, yeah, and when you dream about this, mm -hmm. so uh, it is your your idea or your dream in coming to re reality. Okay. All you right. Like this. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Anybody else about business? needs and goals what do you think about it what what comes to your mind or how what how do you define it i think that Example. is when, what uh, areas that the the manager um things are are important to to the business to improve okay. the business or to solve more or to to go, to be to do one process in the best way okay all right. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Anything else about that? Uh, yes. For for example, teacher in my company, the top manager joined to to all uh, managers departments. Okay. And and decide uh, to to go to the next year. For example, in in September, in September they join and and present. Uh, no, no present. 
and um, performance the new goals to the okay. next years. Okay. And 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 two. Um, and they they for they performance the 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 goals to the 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 this year to the goals to the the this year mm -hmm. to to project okay the next years okay yes. all right okay Very and good. depends uh, the the accountant managers in the merchandising department uh, a cap cap to cap that cap teacher excuse me i can i didn't really hear you jenny yes uh, the department uh, merchandising department and the accountant managers how do you say captain understand no captain uh, how do you say captain in english new customers okay or new products capture capture sorry uh, capture the new customers uh, the new customer or develop a new products okay. to the to the new uh, for the next years all right okay very good yes. i'm gonna read thank you jenny i'm gonna read to you what business needs and goals is all right or what is the definition all right and it says uh business needs and goals are the things that business must have or achieve to run to be profitable, to serve effectively, to deliver successfully on its mission. All right, so it has a lot to do with the mission of the company. All right, so I'm gonna read it again. It says business needs and goals are the things that business must have. So in this, in, at this level, every business, it doesn't matter if it's a small business or a big business, all right? It says must have to, uh, to achieve or have or achieve to run to be profitable to serve effectively and to deliver successfully on its mission so it, the business needs and goals is very very related to the mission of the company all right of course every year you may have or the company must have a different need and a different goal but at the end of the day it's the mission that they need to accomplish or to get, all right? So that's like very like interesting. What about number two, that's analysis. What did you guys come up with that? When, is, when we say gap skills analysis, what is it? It's what you are missing. I mean, the, it's an analysis yeah. that, that tells you that they, they come out from now, the come out from that analysis tells you uh, what uh, skills, what uh, skills you need, or right. skills you need, or if you have a lack of right. of that skill, of those skills. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Como okay. La brecha de conocimiento. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Anybody else with uh, gap skills analysis? Me, teacher. Yes, I'm agree with with Oscar. me. Okay, you agree with Oscar? Very good. Yes, Jesse. Okay, for me, skill analysis is to when the employee ha, employees have like and the manager get different training for closet, that's lack. Ah. In other words, yes, with the with the employees need to improve some abilities okay. or some skills in the management close close that uh, that's lack and give different kinds of training for improving that areas 
that's employed needs. All right. Okay. One more. Can someone else tell me? Thank you, Jesse. What about gap skills analysis, guys? What is it? What is it for you? What do you understand from it? It's about the, the efficiency inside the different departments. Okay. Uh, in that case, in production is when they they put uh, they put the the more attention. Okay. They pay more attention. And, yes. They pay more attention and. Um, the, they decide. They decide a training about the the the, the uh, improve the, the abilities. Okay. To the operators and packing packing workers. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna read to you. Where it says gap skills analysis, it says that it is a tool used to assess the difference between the, the actual state and future. All right, so it's a tool to assess the difference between the actual state and future, so the now and the, and the then, right? And then it says, right, it is a way to find out which skills and knowledge are lacking among the employees in the organization, all right? So it's a tool again, and what does this tool does? It, it finds out which skills and knowledge are lacking among the employees in the business or in the, in the organization of what you have, all right? Very good. What about survey? What's a survey, guys? Like uh, questions? Okay. A questions, yes. Okay, very nice. Anything else? Yeah. Um, could be surveys to analyze um, the lacks, the needs, right. uh, all the things we need to uh, to achieve the, the goals that we right. have been talking. Right. Okay, very nice. All right. Very good. Anybody else about surveys? Okay. Yes? For me, teacher, survey is a kind of evalu evaluation. Yes. In some cases, are behavior evaluation. Behavior? And, and, and another behavior evaluation. And another case is um, summative evaluation. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the area, uh, right? But yeah, they are examination yes. tools to assess the company, yeah. very good. All right, what about yeah. a performance appraisal, guys? What is performance? Is, yes, Diana. It is like a, a evaluation of the, right. the performance of the people who work in the company is given. I, I think that there are like, some indicators that the company has Okay, yeah. The company has, and we are like uh, measuring them. Right, yes. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, Diana. Moises, oh, what do you okay. think? Uh huh, Jenny, and then Moises, first a performance appraisal. Yeah. Uh huh. It's an uh, ability evaluation. All right. Uh, depends the area, for example. Uh, I think uh, sometimes is when the, the managers decide to uh, increase, no, develop, the, improve the salaries to the, some areas, uh, administrative areas. Okay. Or, a, or analyze the, 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 the the pay to the to the operators in production area sometimes okay but it's, it's the same it's a, a evaluation too okay yeah all right we understand what performance is all right performance is the way you do something right 
an appraisal, he says, the, it is the act of assessing something or someone, all right? So in other words, it's the act of assessing uh, how someone is performing, all right? How you guys are like doing well at the job or how you need to improve or how, or the things that you need that you're lacking off and the things that you need to like keep on working on, all right? So that's pretty much what performance appraisal is, all right? Very good. As I said at the beginning, guys, I have a video that I want to show you. But before that, I want to see this, just review quickly the, uh, the pair conjunctions that we have talked about. And then we are going to watch a short video that has no words. I mean, that has no sound. It's only words. And based on that, you're going to make some sentences using the pair conjunctions. All right. So right now I'm going to show you this. Just give me a second here. All right. Uh, this is just to remind you both and neither nor. Uh, let's see. Diana, do you mind reading uh, what's on the first chart? Sorry, Dianita. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game chart. All right. Can you read on the first chart, Diana? And Williams, you read the second one. Yes. Both and. Both prefers to things or people share or do the same thing. For example, N comes early, Sam, uh, Sam oh. comes early. Whoa, aha. <laughs> both, ah, both, I am sorry. Uh, no, that's okay, read the other one. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That's okay, notice that. Notice that the verb always comes in plural form, never singular. All right, okay. What about neither nor, uh, William? Okay, neither. It's used when we want to say that two or more things are not true. Example, both Anne and Sam come early. Neither Anne nor Sam comes early. All right. Notice that the verb comes either in singular or plural form depending on the last subject. Yeah, this is just reminding you that remember that this verb is going to change if depending on this subject, okay? So remember that that's, that's going to take a singular form or a plural form depending on the last on the closest to the verb, okay? So if you have more than two people here, this would be plural, all right? So if you, I just wanted you to see that. All right, can you take a picture of this, guys, quickly? Got it? Did you take it? Yes? All right. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. So what I want you to do here, you're supposed to use both in one of the sentences, I mean both and, and on the other sentence, neither nor, all right? Now, you have the information here. Jim is feeling cold, Tim is feeling cold, all right? So in one sentence, both and, they're going to be like affirmative sentences, and using neither, you're going to change you're gonna use neither nor, and it changes the meaning because it's negative, all right? So I just want you to work on those six sentences, I mean, 12 sentences at the end because you need to make two sentences per, per sentence, all right? You, in one of them, both and, and the other one, neither nor, all right? Whoa, it's raining here. Is it raining by your house? Wow, I'm sorry. Really oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's raining. There, there was a stroke. Can you Yeah, leave? it was, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take attendance right now, so I, I'll let you go and work on your on that, and then we're coming back. It's, it, it, it's almost quarter two. Uh, let me see. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Yes, Thank you. Erica Lirio Perez Diaz. Eric, Eric is there. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Thank you. Eh, Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. 
Present. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. Present. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen. Eh, Salguero Romero. Tuvo problemas con la Inter. Elisa. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. Anubia Araceli Cortés Amaya. Nubia. Hola, Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. All right, okay. So, uh, go to the groups right now, work on that sentence, the sentences that you guys need to do, and then we're coming back and then we'll watch the short video, all right? All right. All right. Hi, Nubia. Hello, Nubia. Hello. Hello, Nubia. 
Hola. Ok, yes. But uh, I don't know if the motion has already finished. Thing is feeling cool. 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 Thing is feeling cool. Bet. Ah, cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bet. Neither. Cool. Neither. Okay, we're going to... Neither. Neither. Bet. Jean is feeling cool. Bet. Neither. Neither. Cool. Ah, uh -huh. We are going to do it in, the, in both ways. So, in the first sentence... Ah... No, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. I, I, <laughs> I thought that you were seeing <laughs> I know. And, and I was thinking, who is that? <laughs> I know. But it is both. <laughs> yes. I, I understand you me. because I, I cannot see words. In my... Uh, uh, I am in the in on cellular. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to do it in both ways. You have to do it in both, and you have to write it in neither. For example, I have the first one. Both, both Jane and Finn are feeling cold. And in neither, neither Jean nor Finn is feeling cold. Yes, feeling. I not understand. Okay, you have the the the, the sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the first sentence, that, for example, is Jim is feeling cold. Spirit, Finn is feeling cold. So you have to write it in both ways. You have to write it uh, using both and. And you have to write it. Jim and. Mm -hmm. uh, both Jim and Finn are feeling uh, cold. cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to write it uh, to, you have to write it uh, using neither nor. For example, neither neither team nor team is feeling cold. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do. Diana, so, what happened with Moises? I don't know. I think he's there, but I don't, I'm not sure because Sometimes I need it. Ah! <laughs> I <I'm here. laughs> yes, I trying to do the exercise at the, at the right. And, okay. And Diana is making the other. All right. <laughs> cool. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Teacher. Hi, Oscar. Oh, Hi, Pedro. <laughs> we have a question. Yes. What's your question? In this case, we were saying. Okay, Philip, both Philip and Sam is dancing. Well, but Philip it doesn't and... mean, uh -huh. it doesn't mean really for, for us. So we say both Philip and Sarah are dancing. That's right, yes. Uh -huh. Are dancing, right. Are dancing. But oh, when, they, you use the, the... when you use the neither one is when you switch it to singular. Neither, uh -huh. to uh -huh. the singular, to, to the last one, right? Right, so, yeah, depending on... <laughs> <laughs> to the last one, right? To the last one, verdad, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, one, right? yeah, when you use both, you have to pluralize it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's like Thank two, you. all right? Thank you. Please. But neither mm -hmm. nor, then you, it depends on the last subject previous to the verb. Okay. Right? 
Got it. Excellent. <laughs> So how do you have number one? Jim is feeling cold. Tim is feeling cold. Go ahead, Vero. In the the first example, mm -hmm. both both Jim both Jim and Tim are feeling cold. That's right. Yeah. Very nice. Very good. And what about the neither one? Oscar. Neither. <laughs> No, that's okay, Benito. Continue. Uh -huh. Neither, neither Jim nor Tim are feeling cold. Uh, Tim is only one. Hello. Hi. Can you uh, yes. <clears throat> All right. So neither Jim neither. nor ne Tim is feeling cold. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's the singular subject it's closest singular. to the verb. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Okay. Oscarito se me frozó. <laughs> Are you frozen, Oscar? Oscarito. Frozen. I think he got frozen. Neither. I think it's because of the rain. Yes, it's raining. Right. It's raining. Cats Strong. and dogs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, se desconectó, you see? <laughs> yes. A strong right. or hard teacher? Both. <laughs> Both. Ah. Yeah. All right. So now you understand, Vero? Uh, yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Okay. So I guess Oscar is going to connect again. In problem with the connection right now. Uh, so you may advance, Verito. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Norma. Hi, Jenny. Hello. Hi, teacher. Tell me number one. Como la llevan? How is number one? Both Jim and Tim are feeling cold. Very good. And neither? Neither Sam. Neither, oh, yeah. neither Jim nor Tim is feeling cold excellent yes that's right very good uh-huh what about that uh, i don't know have you done ned ned and Ann are eating a burger and neither ned nor Ann is eating a burger all right very good all right with, okay with another with was car and terry was finished Finishing uh, with the bus. But what about both? Are uh, you seeing both, uh, Norma? Both. Both, both. Carl, uh huh. At the beginning. Yes, both Carl and Terry. What? Was finish. No. Fishing. 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 But we're fishing. Yeah. I, I said, uh, you you get both. Yeah, uh, you down, yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. You join we're them. Fishing. That's but fish is in the past. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. But you use where because it's it the becomes plural, plural. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And another one, neither Carol nor Terry fishing. Was fishing. Ah, neither Carol nor Terry fish. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. And another one, Jennifer. Yeah. Yes, both Sam and Joe. May, uh -huh. may, San Caso. Right, make San Casos, right, yeah. Yes, and neither Sam nor Joe make San Caso. Mm -hmm. And the next, both Philip and Sarah. Eh, we're dancing. No. Are, so are. are dancing. Are dancing. Yeah. It's present. It's present. Yes. Right. And the next is neither Philip nor Sarah is dancing. That's right. Yes. And the last one, both the mother and father. Uh, are tired. 
and neither the mother nor father is there. Excellent. All right. Um, this is what we're going to do, Norma, para no regresar ahorita y a quedarnos en los grupos. Espéreme. Okay. Voy a dejar, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen with you, okay? Okay. okay. We're going to work on this right now, girls. I want you to take a picture because you already finished this. All right. I want you to take a picture of this, Normita and, uh, and Jenny. And yes. here, I want you to use both. I mean, they give it to you on the, on the brackets, okay? For number one, I want you to use both and. For number three, no importa los números, pero me equivoqué. <laughs> For number yes. three, eh, I want you to use not only but also. For neither nor, not only but. Y así van viendo which, which pair of conjunction you have to use for each sentence, okay? Okay. So take a picture of this right now. Yes. So I can go and share this image to some other groups, okay? Okay, sure. All right, very good. Finish taking the picture? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So now you girls may begin with this one, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Zoom. Zoom. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, yeah. Hi, Hi. finish? Hi. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Do me a favor. Can you take a picture of this other exercise, please? Okay. This one right here. And then. Uh, don't mind the numbers because I got confused. It's one, two, three, four, but that's okay. The numbers don't matter right now. Um, for number one, for each, for each sentence, they are giving you the, the pair conjunctions I want you to use. So for number one, use both and. For number three, use not only but also. For number four, use neither nor and that way, all right? So you have to see which pair conjunction I want you to use, okay? So take a picture and work on that, okay? We're almost finished. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Did you take the picture? No? No. no okay, no. Eric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I... Got it? Got it? Got it. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go share this with the other group, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So right now you guys... Okay. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello. Did you finish the first activity? Yes, yes I'm finished. finished. Excellent. Now I want you to work on this. Mm -hmm. Antes de irnos, can we, can we finish working on this? Take a picture of this one. Okay. okay. On this one, you have to check or you have to see which pair conjunction I want you to use. All right? Don't, okay. don't mind the numbers, porque me equivoqué cuando los enumeré, pero va uno, dos, dos, that doesn't matter. One, three, four, five, doesn't matter, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so work on that. We have okay. like three minutes or so, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Hi, Moses. I'm Nubia. Can you do me a favor? Can you take a picture of this? We're almost finishing. I just want us to work on this. This is the last exercise. Take a picture of that. For each sentence, I want you to check on the per conjunction I'm using. I want you to use, okay? I made a mistake oh, okay. when I was numbering them, but that doesn't matter. For number one, I mean, forget the numbers. Okay. okay. <laughs> and use the per conjunctions I have in brackets for you. Got it? Yes, I got it. Yes. Got it, Diana? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. We have like three minutes and then you can work on that, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mother? Neither. No. Mother? He's tired. He's tired. Like that? Yes. Okay. Neither the mother nor the father is tired. I think there. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. We have two minutes. I want you to work on this right now. I'm going to stop sharing your screen so I can share mine, okay? Okay. All right, I want you to work or take a picture of this quickly and then I want you to work on this like for the last two minutes. 
Okay. Uh, I made a mistake when I was numbering them, but that doesn't matter. I mean, this is number one, take three, but use the pair conjunctions I have in brackets for you. Okay. All right. Did you take we the picture? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So work on that for two minutes. Okay. We have a question. Yes. On, on, uh, about this, uh, we don't sure about uh, the use of are or is in these cases. And we have the same problem here when where right. what or are is. For, uh, both Philip and Sarah are dancing, it's okay. Okay. Neither uh, Philip nor Sarah is dancing, it's okay. Okay. Okay, uh, now here, uh, both Carl and Teddy were fishing. Neither Carl nor Terry. Wasn't, isn't it supposed to be fished? Fish? Uh, like fished. Only fish? Uh huh. Or meat that was fishing. Okay. I think yeah. both ways it's okay, but yeah. No, 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 no. The first one it's okay. Leave the leave the first one out like that. Okay. So neither Carl nor Teddy were I mean fished, only fished. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So work on what one minute and then we finish. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. to our advices, nor his, his friends, when they have a problem. I think they is. I'm sorry. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't Maybe. Know. <laughs> Excuse me. And you, Moises? Yes, I was uh, reading the number. Hi, Verito. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm going. We're going to go right now. Please, if I know that I gave you this activity at the very last minute, finish. Try to finish it. But if not, we can finish it tomorrow as soon as we get in. All right, uh, we're gonna, if we finish, uh, or if you guys finish, we're gonna check it. If you are not done, we can do it together. All right, and then tomorrow, as a review, I'm gonna show you the video I wanted you to watch, and then we're gonna make sentences, and then we're gonna keep on talking about the topic that we have planned for you guys tomorrow, okay? So, okay. thank you so much, guys, for being with me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Please be in class, all right? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. God bless Bye. you. God bless you, too. Have a nice night. You, too. Thank you.